Da Brad apologizes for her sperm donor remarks, it was just misconstrued and taken way out of context. Da Brat is explaining her comments regarding her sperm donor search, claiming that they were taken way out of context during an appearance on Tamron Hall on Thursday. During the interview, Da Brat, 49, and her wife, Jessica Judy Harris Dupart, 41, who are having their first child together, discussed how difficult it was to locate a black sperm donor, particularly due to Dupart's genetic markers, which made finding a match more difficult. The pair said that after refining their search from thousands of donors down to 224 down to about one, they were dissatisfied with the available donors. If you look like Jiminy Cricket, the one or two black people I saw, that ain't gonna look like my child, Da Brat claimed on an episode of their WE TV show, Brat Loves Judy. During her interview, she later provided more background, stating that she didn't think it would be offensive to anybody. I made jokes about practically everyone I saw, and one of them occurred to make it into the show. I wasn't trying to be cruel or say anything bad about black people. I guess they thought it was funny and I didn't think it would bother anybody or else I would have taken it out. I had no idea people were going to be so offended, but I meant no harm whatsoever," the functified rapper said. People take things and run with it. I'm like, what? People who know me know that I didn't mean any harm. We were looking for a black donor, the Chicago native clarified. We're black, we wanted a black donor, so it was just misconstrued and taken way out of context. Da Brat went on to apologize for the comments, saying, If I offended anybody, I do apologize. But it was a joke between me and my wife and the doctor, like, we joke like that, we play around so it wasn't meant to be offensive in any way. The couple also talked about how much harder finding a sperm donor was than they initially imagined. We never worried about it. We were more worried about the whole IVF process where she had to get shots in her stomach in the beginning and take all these hormonal medicines and I had to give myself shots and she had to give me shots and then she ended up at the hospital with blood clots in her lungs once they retrieved their eggs," Da Brad explained. She also revealed how she ended up having a miscarriage and I had polyps in my uterus. It was just so many different things. But we thought when we got to the donor part it would be a breeze, it would be easy. Dupart also highlighted the response they received on social media after their statements were broadcast, as well as how she attempted to protect Da Brat from the backlash. I'm more active on social media than she is, she admitted. And there were things I was really trying to keep from her seeing. They had comments that said, I just hope you guys miscarry, she says. Dupart said she tried to delete a lot of stuff so she can't see it on my page and she can't see it on her page because it was extreme hate. I'm used to some of it from being on social media, but when it comes to our child, something we work really, really hard for, I felt like if anything happened to our child, it would be a disaster. I never thought I'd have kids, she admitted. I just assumed it wasn't going to happen for me. I've had a wonderful job and a busy life. I felt like it wasn't going to happen for me because I hadn't gotten pregnant sooner.